Wright is set to learn his sentence this week for being convicted of a murder last week. The family of the man Wright uh, killed in a hit and run in a, during a police chase is speaking exclusively to WTOC. Now Wright was found guilty of nine counts, including felony murder after he hit and killed Stephen Milton during that high speed chase in 2021. This is video of the scene that night. Now Stephen Milton's siblings are saying the verdict is helping them heal nearly two years after their brother's death, but they shared their story with our Flynn Snyder. They believe more can be done. Stephen Milton's family places flowers at 38th and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in Savannah. That's where Milton was crossing the street when a car involved in a high speed police chase struck and killed him. To kill somebody and to run away from it as if you had right. no responsibility for it was just that was overwhelming for all of us. It's the first time the family has visited the area since Kenneth Wright was convicted of murdering Milton. Court testimony laid out how Wright led a Georgia State Patrol trooper on a high speed chase after being pulled over for speeding in June 2021. The chase reaching speeds as high as 75 miles per hour, according to investigators. They say Wright struck Milton before leaving the scene. But to chase a man until somebody dies, that's just crazy. It makes no sense. It, we're never going to have Stephen again. Milton's family still has questions about why the chase continued through residential and city streets. They look like they were making some ninja type movements. This doesn't make any sense. If you've already got everything you need to bring that person in, why were you chasing him? A GSP internal review of the chase says the state trooper did follow state policy when he decided to pursue. The family says being in court each day for the trial and seeing Wright's conviction is a step towards healing. I I was kind of numb to him. Me too. I felt really, I felt bad for his mother. Now Milton's sisters want more to be done to keep pedestrians safe during police chases as they remember the man who they say everyone called on for help. We can start to try to put our lives back together. We need to be able to put our lives back together.